Nike React Pegasus Trail 4 GTX. There's a mouthful for you. Good job, Nike. Move. All right, I don't know. I put Nike in the road running shoe category in my mind. Like, I just don't often think about Nike for trail shoes. I know they've been making trail shoes for years and years, but it's just not my go-to company. Oh, progress here. You're gonna like the full review score here in one minute. There's the stack height. Let's just put it on the scale just to confirm. Solid weight under, hold on, hold on. There's the stack once again, under nine ounces in my size, 8.7 ounces. In fact, uh, Speed Go 5, I just put it on the scale a second ago, nine, 9.1 ounces in my, so this is lighter than the Hoka Speed Go 5. Good work there. Nike Gore-Tex uh, upper. Let's see, yes, a full, yeah, basically a full gusset. It's a unique, it's, yeah, it's not quite in the gusset category, but it's, that tongue is attached to the, uh, to the eyelet, right below the eyelet chain. Boom, the butterfly effect. Can you see it there? Can you see it? Okay, that's what I call a butterfly tongue, and it's amazing. It wraps around your foot, so you don't feel the laces at all. It helps keep debris out, out on the trail, so rocks and grit out there, and usually, I'm not a fan of the booty style collar, okay? But for some reason, this collar, first of all, it doesn't get cut off, right? I think that's one of the issues. Uh, it doesn't get cut off right here. It actually slopes upward back toward the heel tab and heel counter, and it just hugs the ankle really nicely. And it just, it was comfortable and I didn't feel, the reason I don't often like booty style collars is because I can feel uh, not secure, not as locked in. So inside the heel counter, perfect amount of padding there, Nike, uh, on the back of that, on the inside of that heel count. Okay, and of course, a pull tab. I'm just, I'm excited. There's the scores for the upper. Good work, and again, Gore-Tex. Uh, I'm excited actually to take this out in some serious mud in the springtime, and actually let's do it right now. Outsole, it's, 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 oh, I know I just skipped the midsole. All right, should we stay in order? But the outsole, it just gets me, these lugs, I'm going, I couldn't find the exact measurements, but I'm going with like three millimeters, so you could commute 100% to the trails in a, in a beautiful way. But the, the layout and the, the, uh, the size and the uh, overall shape of those lugs, I'm very excited. Like, I think, I wish again, so in the wintertime, you know, everything freezes, but I'm excited to take this shoe out once we get a nice warm day and all the snow melts and everything turns to mud here in Colorado because I'm, I'm bullish on the outsole. All right, great job there. We're looking at React Foam, uh, full-length React Foam. Actually, but now it's interesting. It doesn't feel as hard, at, and that's why we do the thumb test and the durometer. All right, let's just do it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Let's just see here. Okay, getting 45, 46 on the lateral side there, and then 40, 46, 47 on the uh, medial side. So we're going to go with 46, 47, and then the thumb test. So that's a little bit higher, but man, it just rode really nicely. It doesn't quite, it feels to me closer to the 40s with respect to the shore sea durometer. Really no complaints. I'm not seeing really any breakdown either, okay? As far as creasing through that midsole. Maybe a smidge on this medial side, but really hardly any at all. And one of the runs that I did was, I think it was 13 or 14 miles with about 2,500 feet of vertical gain. So, and on some pretty rocky terrain as well, didn't feel any rocks through the midsole, okay? Just so you're aware. Very exciting fit, comfort. Uh, you, I mean, do I have to say any more? Really, I don't. Fit, it's just spot on, okay? Okay, well, all right, not too narrow. I know Nike is known to be a little bit on the narrower side. I didn't experience that at all. I think you're gonna have enough, not plenty of room, but enough room to splay a little bit inside that toe box. All right, my number one is the collar. Um, and I guess if I had to choose a drawback, I couldn't really think of one, is that I wish maybe, like I think at 13 miles, I don't know if it would go, let's say, 20 or 25 miles on the trails. I think by then, your legs start might start to get a little bit barking at you, all right? So that might be my one drawback. And that price point, getting a little bit high, but at the same time, I think it feels like, and again, send me pictures, I think it's gonna go the distance. That's why the score is at seven out of 10. I just, I'm not seeing any zero breakdown on the outsole. Like, I just don't see these lugs wearing out quickly, and I don't see these lugs like tearing off. So I just, 
We'll see. But I, I, and again, we're in the Rocky Mountains. I was running on some pretty tough terrain out there in the testing. Other shoes to buy, soak it in. Man, if I had to choose one that was the closest, I actually might go Asics Fuji Light 2, which many of you remember, like I was, I'm bullish on the, I love the Fuji Light lineup from Asics. So it's kind of feeling like that type of ride. I really like the Fuji Light. Shoe quick specs, there you go. And one more time, one more time. Almost in the eight, 7.8 at all. It, it was approaching, man, 7.8 out of 10. I'm not sure what else to say. Like, I'm, I mean, oh yeah, I, I do have one other. I'm way more excited about this guy over the Zagama. Like, I don't know, it just, uh, it rode better. I feel like the, uh, the, oh my goodness. I'm just looking at the lockdown and the, um, I think the eyelet chain is a little too narrow in the Zagama. And as far as lacing and lockdown, so I just overall the fit, actually you can even see it. You can even see it, hold on, I know I'm going on here. This is, uh, cre see the creasing through the upper? You know, it's just, like, it's just a little bit sloppy. And the outsole lugs, like the lug pattern on this guy, on the, uh, about the React, the, you know the name, the Peg, the React Pegasus, no, the, the React Trail 4, oh my goodness, GTX. So anyway, bottom line, I'm really, really excited about this shoe. There's the comment of the day in case you want to soak it in. Hit pause, hit pause. It's actually a really good comment of the day uh, reflecting on a bunch of other shoes that this person has tested this year. All right, we're almost through 2022 question of the day. What are your running and training plans to close out the year? We basically got two weeks to go, all right? What are your running and training plans for the rest of the year, all right? What, do you have any bucket list items you're chasing down? Maybe some annual calendar goals that you're chasing down? Let us know in the comments. Look forward to reading it. All right, I'm excited. Nike running shoe playlist will be right here. Nike running shoe playlist right there, right there, right there. In case you wanna learn more about some other Nike trail running shoes. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.